This presentation in the Database Fundamentals series talks about the data model. There are relatively few symbols used in data modeling, but they represent a fairly rich set of concepts. So it's deceptively simple when you first learn the modeling symbols. Uh, unfortunately, we can't seem to agree. There's more than one set of symbols or notation uh, that have been used in our profession. And so what we'll do here is use the crow's feet notation because it is commonly found in businesses when they're doing development. And it's also found in a lot of systems analysis and design textbooks. But once you become comfortable with data modeling terms, what they mean, uh, then it's pretty easy to switch from one notation to another. So we have a term called entity, and an entity is a person, place, thing, or event about which we want to store information. Example entities are customer, inventory, project, it could be student, faculty, courses, and so on. Uh, sometimes we you hear the term entity or you hear the term entity type. For our purposes, you can think of them as essentially the same. So I may use the term entity type or entity. There is a distinction between entity and entity instance. An entity instance is a single occurrence of an entity. So we might have an entity called customer because we want to track data about customers and one particular instance of a customer might be Bob Wilson. He is a customer. The symbol for an entity is a rectangle. The next term for data modeling is an attribute. An attribute is a single unit of information or data that describes something about an entity. An entity can often and often does have many uh, attributes. So, for example, we have a custom, customer entity here, and we want to know about the customer's first name, last name, address, phone number, and uh, probably other attributes as well. There are different uh, notation for attributes that it's important to be familiar with and understand. What we see here is imp underscore ID is underlined and that designates it as an identifier. An identifier is an attribute that can uniquely identify each entity instance. So for example, Carla Stevens has an employee ID of 3492. She is the only employee that has that number. It can't be used again for another employee. David Adams has an employee ID of 4382. So the employee ID or imp ID has a value in each uh, that's unique to each entity instance. The other attribute that's notated a little differently is imp underscore phone. And this is a multi-valued attribute. So it's got the curly Q braces around it. And this indicates that this attribute might have more than one value for a particular specific entity instance. So Carla Stevens, for example, might have a, f a phone number for her office, her cell, and her home phone. The uh, next symbol or, and term is the relationship. And the relationship makes a connection between entities and it is represented by a line. So what we have in this example is that a customer is related to order, and order is related to inventory. The last concept that we present here in this presentation is cardinality. Cardinality shows the minimum and maximum allowable or constraints on a relationship. And this is where the uh, crow's feet term comes in, by the way. What we see as we add the cardinality to the relationship, we have uh, symbols like a vertical line, a zero, and then the crow's feet, which is the three lines projected from a single point. The next presentation will talk about these in much greater detail. So we've covered entity, entity type, attribute, 
Entity Instance, Relationship, Identifier, Multi-Valued Attribute, and uh, introduce the idea of cardinality, minimum and maximum constraints on a relationship.